Good afternoon, Panther. Today is Thursday, May 9th, and you're watching the forest fire. I'm Bree. And I'm Ashley. Welcome to the Forest Fire. Barry caught up with Captain Ward about the NJROTC award ceremony. Let's see what he had to say. Hey there, Counter Forest. Today I'm here with Captain Ward to talk about the upcoming ROTC award ceremonies. So, Captain, what are the award ceremonies going to be? It's going to be this Tuesday, May 14th at uh, 7 p.m. All right, um, who is all open to attend? Is it available to the public or has that anyone right. Mainly, um, First of all, the cadets, the cadets have come, and, I, and I'm, one of the reasons for this interview is to get this information across to our first semester cadets, that they are invited, and um, that if they come, they need to be in uniform, so all the cadets need to be in uniform, and mainly the uh, rest of the guests are family members and friends of the cadets. Well, any last words before we go? Um, not that I can think of, it's just May 14th at uh, 7 p.m. Cadets need to be in uniform and uh, we'll have a, a nice award ceremony. Uh, a little bit of refreshments, uh, maybe cake and cookies afterwards. Uh, and that's about it, I think. Alright, thanks, Scott. Thank you. Back to you guys in the studio. Let's get an update on what's going on in the forest. All completed PACE packets are due to the guidance office no later than Friday, May 10th. Students may drop packets off to Ms. Barnhill. All students who are denied credit due to excessive absences but had passing grades will be allowed to attend summer attendance makeup the weeks of June 10th and June 17th. See Mr. Baxley. Seniors who still have excessive absences may stay after school in A101 between May 13th and 24th. Please bring work to do and see Mr. Baxley for any questions. FBLA will have their final meeting of the year Tuesday, May 14th during lunch in Ms. Gore's room. There will be lunch served. Interims were out today. If you did not receive yours, check in with your first block teacher. It's not pronounced in We're going to pass it over to Alexis for our weather forecast. Hi, Carolina Forest. I'm Alexis here with your forest fire forecast. There will be a high of 80 and a low of 62. There's 0% chance of rain. And tomorrow will also be 80 with 10% chance of rain. Thanks. And back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Alexis. It's time to hand it over to Nancy and Josh with CF Sports. But first, let's watch this short message. How does it take to produce the whole flame issue? Um, well, we started in the fall, we started in the fall um, preparing with some preliminary things like <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do some sort of uh, form-running agilities. 
Guys, do you think you can take on the four-time region champs volleyball team? Here's your chance. Five teams of eight to ten people. Please see Ms. Drew for a packet if you want to play. The game will be Wednesday, May 15th at 6 p.m. Cheerleading tryouts will be held today in the mini gym after school. Girls varsity volleyball will have spring practice Monday through Thursday. Now for your NBA updates. Spurs lost last night to Golden State, tying up the series. The Heat's beat the Bulls last night tying the series 1-1, to as well as the Spurs losing to Golden State last night. That's it for your sports report. Let's pass to Mercedes with your entertainment segment. Hey everyone, I'm Mercedes here at Entertainment Weekly. Today is Trending Thursday. There are plenty of ways to pull off high style at low prices. These pairs of summer sandals are all $25 or less. Payless has some strappy wedges for $14.99. Meanwhile, at Forever 21, they have Grecian braided strap sandals for $7.50. Target has some studded cage sandals for $14.99. Places like Kmart, Target, and Payless and other shoe stores have great stylish summer sandals. That's it for Trend and Thursday. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you all for tuning in for today's broadcast. Until then, stay on the prowl panel.